Hello everyone, the Tyrannical Cuber here, and today we're going to be talking about F2L, the second step of CPOP. Now, I'm starting out with the second step because the first step is cross, and from the beginner's method you should already know how to do cross, and CFOP cross is more confusing than F2L, OLL, and PLL, so I'm not going to get into it that until the very end. So yeah, this is going to be about F2L, and there are, in first two layers, after you solve the cross, there are three main inserts. This is one of them. This is what's known as an F2L pair. It is a corner edge pair that's solved in a one by two by one block, like this. So, this corner goes here, this edge goes here. And you solve them both at the same time, so the insert would just be putting the corner in like that. Should be pretty, pretty simple. So if you uh, if you want to like algorithmize it, that's not a word, but oh well. Then... You have the, well, you have the white facing towards you, and this, I'm doing this in white with white cross because not everyone has decided to be color neutral. So if it's on the right, then move it over to the left so that like sort of like horizontally, going horizontally, bring the empty slot up, put it in the empty slot, bring it back down. It's on the left, then same thing. Horizontal, bring the slot up, move it into the slot, bring the slot down. That's one basic insert. The other is if white is facing up, and of course the edge is in the top layer. So what you you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate the top until the edge side color matches the center. Rotate until the empty slot, which is this, is in front. Now, rotate this back. Move this right above it so it forms the pair. Bring this back down. And now, you just have the first case. And of course, in the back, well, if once you rotate until the empty slot is in the front, well, yeah, the front, I mean, this is the front, but like, once the empty slot is in the front, and the edge is on the side, and the empty slot is on the left, then you, you still do the same thing. Push this edge down away from the empty slot, move the corner until it is on top of the edge, and forms this pair. Move the slot back down, and you have the first case again. So there. And on to the final case. The final case is so then the uh, white is facing the side. These two, the edge is not connected, and the colors on top are different. So how you would solve this is put the corner on top of the empty slot. Rotate the entire cube until the corner is in front and white is not facing you. Now the edge should be directly across from you in the back. Push the empty slot up, so now this is connected in a pair, move it towards into the empty slot, move the slot back down. And of course, this is the same on the right, I mean the left, so you put the corner right above the empty slot, rotate until it's in the front, 
and white is not facing you. This is it. The corner is in the edge is indeed in the back. So push the slot up to connect these. Move it into the slot. Move the slot back down. And that's it for the three simple insertions. Now, you, you need to know more of this, but it's, it's easier to show the other stuff in an example solve. So, that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is your first example solve. So, as you can see, so this pair is already solved. This is already an F2L pair. So, this is the empty slot that it's supposed to go in because white, blue, red, blue, red, white, blue, red, here. So, that's on top of the slot. White is facing me. The slot is in the front. So, move it here so that this is horizontal and still in the front. Move the slot up. Move this into the slot. And move it back down. Next, I see we have this green red edge on top. And, but this white, green, red ed corner that it pairs with is still on the bottom. So, you just bring it up, move it over, and bring the slot back down. Now, the white is facing up, so we know this is going to be the second case where white is facing up. But, if we do the exact insert, so this is on top. This is matched. Uh, the empty slot to the front. This is on the side. We bring it away from the slot. The corner goes down. So, no matter how much you turn the top face, the corner will not pair. So, what you do is first, you take an empty slot. Just any empty slot. It could be this, this, or this. Let's just use this. You, you rotate the entire cube until it is in the front right. You rotate the top until the corner is in the back right. You bring this slot up, which hides this corner. Rotate the top face away from the slot, from the slot, and bring the corner back up, or the slot back down, depending on how you look at it. And now, you can do the white facing up case. So rotate this, okay, that's uh, matching. Rotate the entire cube until the empty slot, which is this, is in front, and this is on the side. So this is the empty slot. You bring this away from the empty slot. This is the corner. You rotate until it is paired up with the edge and bring the slot back down. Now this becomes an F2L pair case, the first case. So it's right above the empty slot. Move it so it's horizontal and just bring them to bring the slot up, put it move it over so that like white matches like this becomes like a block. Yeah, put it in the slot, whatever terminology you want to use, and bring the slot back down, which solves this pair. Next, I see the blue-orange and white-blue-orange over here. Orange is on the side. Well, first of all, white is facing up, so orange is on the side. Move it here, it matches. Now rotate until the slot is in front. The slot is in front. This is on the side. Move this away from the slot. Move the corner on top of the edge. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm an idiot. This is the empty slot. I hopefully will not make that mistake again. So, this is the slot because, you know, 
orange, blue, orange, blue. Me. So, this, you move it away from the slot, to the back, rotate this into, so that it pairs, bring this back down, and this is now the first case, the all case. So, let's do the insert. Another one of these, okay, you know what? For the sake of these not just being basic inserts and white facing up cases, I'm just gonna do that. So now these two are different are different colors. This is facing the side. The white is facing the side. So it's the last case. Now rotate this, put it on right on top of the slot it's supposed to go into. Rotate the entire cube until white is facing to the side. The edge should be in the back, but it is not. It is over here. So, one way that I learned how to determine whether or not the edge is in the correct position is, so, take this white piece and imagine that this, like, little white tile square thing stretch stretches out forever. Now it stretches up in this direction and out in this direction. Now this is also so stretches out in this direction. You place your finger in this direction over right over the set the top center. Your finger if the edge is in the correct position, your finger should be touching it. It is not touching it, so it is not in the correct position. So what we do, we do this pretty much the same thing as if the white is facing up and this is in the, this is touching it. So like the second pair in this example solve. So this is the only empty slot left, so we have to use this one. Rotate until it is in the front right, and it already is in the front right. Rotate the, cor the top until the corner is in the back right. There it is. Now this stretches out over here. So place your finger, because like, stretches out infinitely in this direction, this plane just out infinitely in this direction and this direction. Obviously, we're not going to use this direction because if you do this, it, it's just wrong, but this. So we don't want the edge over here because then it would be touching. So that would be not good. We want it over here. So you push this down to hide the corner. You push the saw up. Move this over here and move this back up. So now, if you apply the same thing, put your finger sort of parallel to this white and it's touching the edge. So, this is correct in the correct case for the insert now. The empty slot is already in the front right. Uh, rotate this until it's on top of the slot. This is white is facing already facing to the side. The slot is in the front. This is in the back. So now push this back into the edge so this pairs. Put it into the slot and move the slot back down. And also before I forget. I'm going to show you guys a, a case where you would not be able to do the this thing. To hot, because the edge is not in the correct position, because obviously, because, like, you know. You, you, if you do the parallel thing, it my finger is touching it, but this is touching the corner, so it, it's not, it's just obviously not right. 
But if we do the same thing for this, then when we go to hide the corner, we're also hiding the edge. So, if you find that that happens in any case, so when you hide, it's not correct, you have to set it up. When you hide the corner, you also hide the edge. Then, rotate the cube until the empty slot is in the front left. Now, put the edge, I mean the corner, in the back left. And do the, pretty much the exact same thing. So, put the finger there, is it parallel? The edge is supposed to go here. Move this down. Move this over. Say so it's over here. Move this up. And that's ready to be inserted. Like so. And that is your first example solve done. And I'll probably end up doing three example solves. So on to the next one. Okay, this is your second example solve. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. So, all right, one note. After you finish, you, you can start using this in, be, in be, with beginner's method. So, you just solve the cross, normal beginner's method, and then you start using F2L, and then you solve the last layer, normal beginner's method. So, this can be like a secondary step. This can be like a step in the journey to CFOP from beginner's method, like you don't have to just switch to CFOP with, without going through any transitionary steps. So, and this is one of the transitionary steps. Now, I see this white, blue, red corner in the top. Now we just have to bring the edge, the red, blue edge in the top. So to do that, we just so it's in this slot, so you just bring it up in that slot and move it over, bring the slot back down. So now, both these are on top. White is facing to the side, or front for that matter, depending on how you rotate this, but it's, long story short, it's not facing up. That's all that matters. So these two colors on top are different. So this is going to be the third insert. So empty slot over here, put it back there, and then, yeah, well, do the finger test, parallel finger test thingy, go here, it's supposed to go over here, hide the corner, move the edge up here, move the corner back up, put it over the empty sl the slot it's supposed to go in, because, you know, Red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Here. And push it over there. Move it over, move it into the slot. Move the slot back down. Now I see this white, blue, orange is in the top layer. And here is the edge, so. Just gonna bring the edge up like this. Don't, I don't wanna do this because then That'll do weird stuff to the corner. Because, like, this entire slice is being moved, so you don't want the corner going into it there, and because that sort of messes with... Just don't do it as a beginner. <laughs> a beginner Steve Hopper. So move it over, like so. And move the slot back down. Now you have the white facing the side or rather, not facing up. But these two colors are the same. So, we set it up to the F2L case. The first case, the F2L pair case thingy. So we find an empty slot, and we do the basic like, rotation. However, white has to be facing the side. So this, it's facing back, facing uh, back, it's not facing the side, so this isn't going to work, because if you hide it, then the, the corner the edge belongs here, because then, because that's the only way to make this, like, block. If it, if it goes here, then sure, blue is matching, but 
orange would be here, well, the corresponding orange is here. So that wouldn't work, so it has to go here. Now, if we hide it and put the edge there, when we pull the corner back up, the edge ends up in this layer. So, we have to do basically what the alternate corner hiding. This is still the empty slot, except we put it in the front left, move this to the back left, and now when we hide it, the edge is supposed to go here. Now when we hide it, when we put the edge there, we move the corner back up, it's a pair. So now, white face, it's supposed to go here, white face this way, horizontal, slot up, there, there. And now, okay, so, this is optional for beginners. If you don't want to do this, then, and you think it's, this FGL stuff is already confusing enough, I need to practice more, then you, this is optional. So, if this, if you can, like, if the edge is in the second layer over here, and the corner just, if your corner's facing up and you just rotate, pair. Then you can rotate until it's a pair, and then just take it out like that, like, pull it out of this slot, and now you have this, or this, uh, F2L horizontal the case, Hor so horizontal, there, there, there. Now these two on the top, these two are the same, this is facing out, and just, yeah, hide, hide the corner, do that, go up. Clean that back up. Put this up to all case horizontal. Put it. In. That concludes the second example solve and the third example solve. I'm gonna be going much faster because I assume that you're. I've already gone through all the basic cases, except actually maybe not all of them. Uh, still this. So, but this is basically the same thing as the these two facing up. So over here. Now, let's use this as empty slot because it's the only empty slot. Right? This isn't going to work because when you hide the corner, it also hides the edge. So we have to do this. Now, but now when we hide the edge, we move the hide the corner. When we move the edge where it's supposed to be, bring the corner back up, it hides it. So, if you have this case where this is facing the side, these two, this is the corner, these two are the same, they're touching each other, but they're not a pair yet. You would do get get to this, do, you, would, you would try this, it wouldn't work, and then you would do this, still wouldn't work, so you would have to do this, except you don't pair it right away. Do something like this to move the edge away from the corner. Bring the corner back up, and now you can pair these. And now this, you can pair these normally. So like this, this wouldn't work because we've already established that that's not going to work. But now, if you go back to this, this will work, and you can just insert. It. And that's all for your second example solve. And a little thing at the end. So now you know all the after all the pretty much all the how to solve all the different cases. Like if the corner is on the bot in the bottom, but the edge is on the top, something like this. And just bring the corner up. Actually, if you have this, then you can do like the beginner's method thing. But let's just pretend. Let's just. Okay, this doesn't work, but, but, in any case, so. there, so, if the edge is on top, the corner isn't, bring the corner up, if the corner's on top, edge isn't, bring the edge to the top, and then you have, 
a case. That was an advanced test, more intermediate F2L thing where you, you can insert it into a, ba a back slot. Don't try to do that yet. I mean, you could try to do that, but do it after you've memorized all these F2L all these F2 insertions and uh, you, you've gotten used to all the like pairings and stuff. On to the third example solve. Okay, this is the third example solve. This is going to be a bit quick because uh, based on all my footage, this is already going to be long enough already without with all these example solves and stuff. And also, you should already know most things by now. Like I just wanted a third example solve so to have three example solves and not some weird number like two. Which isn't actually that weird, but three is better. Not really better, but more standard. So yeah, this... See this? White, white's on top. There. Connected. In this slot, front, it's in front right, that's on the side, there, paired up, there, and horizontal, put it in, like so, uh, there and there, move this edge up, there, those are two in the same color, that's facing the side, uh, let's use this as the empty slot, so pull that down, Move that over because it's just goes there because you know, like the same color, white's there, yeah, so mm -hmm. <laughs> very descriptive. Uh, there paired, there's slot, move it over there, white's facing us, horizontal, slot up, in slot, slot restored, and that, so move that up. There, that's correct, slot in front, actually you don't necessarily have to bring the slot in front, just make sure that you're moving this away from the slot, but oh well, you to make it less confusing, probably still slot in front, there, move it over, there, there, pow, uh, horizontal, put it in, and there, so we're not going to use the little trick thing, there. That's up, there's the slot, connected, uh, there, back, there, paired, uh, this is the slot, facing me, horizontal, and insert. Now, since the third example solve was not very long, because I just neglected a lot of description stuff, because you should already know it, I'll just flex on you guys and... Uh, do a fast F2L just to show you what it should look like, but actually be me showing off my F2L skills. So, yeah, this is what fast what fast F2L is supposed to look like, kinda. Oh, God, science. There. And I was solving through a camera, too, which was really confusing, kind of. It wasn't really confusing, more like... It just threw me off a bit. And you know what? I'll just solve this because I can. So, I hope that helped. I hope it did more than help, but succeeded completely in your learning of F2L. F2L is one, is one of the hardest steps in CVOD. It helps when there's only four steps for after all to be the hardest because with four steps and one of the hardest and with four steps technically all of them are one of the hardest because all of them are the hardest because there are only four. Okay, that didn't make sense, but anyway, I feel it's one of the hardest steps, and it's okay if. It takes a while, and so sometimes when people start learning F2L, their times go down a bit. But I guarantee, if I go down, I mean get worse, not go down as in from like 23 to 22, but like 
get worse from like 23 to 26. Those are just random numbers. But I guarantee you, after about a week, they will get better again. And they will get be better than before you learned F2L. And if you want to learn CFOP, then you kind of have to learn F2L. If you learn Rue, then if you decide to learn Rue, then I have no idea why you're watching this video. And also, yeah, and you're, with, with learning Rue, your times will definitely go down, but, then, but like with learning F2L, your times will get back, go back up. By down and up, I mean worse and better. Not like down. Like, okay. I already explained this, so I'm not going to explain it again. This is what happens when I don't skip my videos. I'm still not scripting them, by the way. Which could, may or may not be a good thing or a bad thing, but they're not scripted. Mostly because I'm too lazy to actually write a script and also with homework and stuff. Okay, this is turning into a ramble, so I'm just going to stop. So anyway, thanks for watching, and may your CFOP journey continue.